Here is a completely new breed of car to bring a new look, fire, and flavor to the American road. The Mustang by Ford. When you go back to all the way to the summer of 1964 when the first Mustang came out and some of those cars are still running around today and you hear kind of how cool they are and, and really how much the sound really gives character to the car, I guess is really what it is, it personalizes the vehicle. There's a certain expectation of, of what a Mustang sounds like and frankly, different people may have different expectations, which is why we offer different sound levels for the same vehicle. But we're very careful to make sure we're constantly calling back to that history and that heritage and that we're thinking about guys like Carroll Shelby and what Ford itself has done throughout the years. We make sure that we develop something that, that kind of continues that history or stays consistent with that history. And when you're comparing um, you know, a modern Coyote motor with the original motors and the Mustangs back in the 60s, eliciting that same emotion and coming out with an exhaust note that's similar to what people are expecting of Mustangs throughout the years becomes quite a challenge and something we take really seriously. So as we're dialing in our exhaust and we're going through certain different prototypes and we start to get a configuration that starts to sound right but has a couple different objectionable frequencies in a couple areas perhaps in the RPM range that don't really sound right and we take our diagnostic equipment out and we identify what those frequencies are and when you add our multi-core technology, the attack patents that we have and you combine it with other methods of eliminating objectionable frequencies and amplifying good frequencies, we have an incredible amount of control over the exhaust note. And sometimes for us, the issue is that we can virtually do anything and identifying really what Mustang owners are looking for becomes the challenge for us. And you know, thankfully we've been doing this for so long and we've worked with so many Mustang enthusiasts and really icons of the Mustang like Carol Shelby and others that we've got a pretty good idea of what Mustang owners are looking for.
get a lot of phone calls from enthusiasts who have put long tube headers on their Mustang, and of course, this changes the exhaust note dramatically, primarily because it eliminates the catalytic converter, which of course makes it a track use or a race only system. And when you get into race systems, you're driving at wide open throttle a lot more, um, high RPMs, pushing a lot more air. So we wanted to develop a system that did two things. First of all, compensated for the extra air that's being pushed and really brought out the kind of pure performance that you're looking for when you're racing your Mustang as well as the exhaust note itself, because the long tube headers change the exhaust note so much, it really doesn't work to put the same street system on um, with your long tube header. So we came out with two three inch systems, S-Type and Attack, that both work with long tube headers. And they can be anybody's long tube headers, they don't just have to be ours. So if you've put long tube headers on your Mustang and you're not happy with the note, we have two three inch exhaust systems that are gonna take care of that and bring that note right back where you want it. We talk a lot about the exhaust note and the connection it gives you with the vehicle, specifically things like shift points and where in the RPM range the power is and it allows you to kind of focus on those areas. But there's something else to it too, which is more of just the emotional connection it gives you with the car. And um, that's a big part of putting a Borla exhaust system on your car. When you're looking at our website and you're trying to get an idea of what exhaust system you're looking for, think about yourself and what emotion are you looking for? What do you want to hear from your car? What kind of feelings do you want to have when you're driving? Another tunnel, here we go. I can't get enough of this.